let's explore some of the modes that the standard time timesheet can be in. Uh, there is a small triangular gray drop down button over here on the left hand side that some people are unaware of. If you click that, you get a small menu that allows you to choose some different modes for the uh, timesheet. So I'm going to go through some of these and just show you how they look and uh, you might find them interesting for your company. So the first two allow you to show the totals at the top. So if I choose daily totals we see a new row that shows up here. If I choose weekly totals uh, another row. Um, that is valuable if the timesheet scrolls up and down. You see the same totals at the bottom but um, you can also freeze those rows at the top so that if you scroll down all the way to the bottom then uh, you still have those values available to you. Let me just go ahead and turn those off. Um, as I go through the list here the next choice is to sort projects by um, or project tasks rather by name, ID, start date, due date. So there's a few fields you can sort by. That's essentially uh, referring to project tasks that you might see under your uh, project. So if I went here and chose to sort them by the ID, you can see that the list changes. Let me go ahead and choose name and you can see that they change back. Okay, So that's another little mode that you can use. Uh, another thing you can do is set the first day of the week. Normally by default standard time uses Monday through Sunday as your work week, usually Monday through Friday, but you can change it to Sunday. So now you see Sunday is the first day and then Saturday is the last day. Um, you can choose any day of the week as the first day. Next thing on the list here is uh, show time periods or time periods. Uh, normally standard time uses a weekly view. So you see the Monday through Sunday shows one week. If you want to you can show pay periods. Before we do that we have to have some pay periods. So let's go ahead and go up to the tools menu, choose approve time and expenses, click on pay periods, and then we're going to create a pay period for the first through the 15th. Okay? Go ahead and create that. Let's also create one for the 16th through the end of the month. So these would be like uh, normal uh, work periods uh, where people would be paid on those uh, those date ranges. So now if we were to go to time periods and, sh and choose pay periods, we will see the pay period at the top. We also see a new row at the bottom here and a new scroll bar. So as I scroll through this, now I see every day of that pay period rather than a week. If I go to the drop down, I no longer see weeks. I actually see pay periods. And so if I go back to this little triangle, click on that and choose weeks, um, then we actually see the Monday through Sunday view. And uh, we happen to be inside of a pay period but we only have the seven days that we're dealing with. No scroll bar at the bottom so you're not scrolling through every day. So next thing on the list here uh, is to show scheduled hours. Now, this is a, another thing with project tasks. This is a way for you to um, hint or tell employees what you expect them to work on on each day. Let's say you want them to work on particular tasks, you can put these hints in and then you're basically expecting them to work on certain tasks throughout the week. Uh, managers can do that. The employees would not be able to um, choose that. So that's a way to just uh, time phase out the expected work that uh, employees should do. Let's go through the list again. Uh, the mode here at the bottom is that we're looking at the, ti the time sheet. If I choose daily hours, we're also looking at a timesheet, but this one is the graphical timesheet. It shows each time log uh, on a daily chart showing the hour so we can see exactly when each of these blocks of time occurred. Kind of a nice little view. So back to the regular timesheet, you see the normal Monday through Sunday grid. Um, if I were to go to the very last one, we're actually looking at an expense sheet. And the expense sheet is um, where you can collect quantities. I've purchased a 21 inch monitor and three sets of cables. If I go over to uh, another day I can type in 
two more, and another set. Now these would presumably be passed on to the client as you purchase them for client resale. So um, you can then switch back to the regular timesheet, put your hours in like normal, and um, you know you've got your daily totals and weekly totals at the bottom. So that's a little bit um, some interesting th modes that you can look at in the timesheet. Hope it helps.